What up, Internet? Yep, it's me again. But this time, we're going to be trying to boost the street cred of this Corvette by sticking this floppy rubber rear spoiler on the back. Stay tuned. As they say, I guess. Here's the truth. Like everyone else, I think the GM did a really good job at designing the outside of the C5 Corvette. But on the fixed roof coupes like the Z06, instead of a large glass hatch area, they have a trunk lid, which is this big, flat, expansive area with nothing to really break up the space. That's where I'm hoping that the spoiler is going to come into play and solve that issue. Now on top of that, this thing should be pretty easy to install. There's no hardware to fasten or holes to drill. It's just this double-sided tape that you peel off and it just kind of sticks on. But before we can get started with the installation, we're gonna take a couple crucial measurements to make sure we can center this rear spoiler in the back of the car. What up, bro? Like my dad always said, measure twice, stick your spoiler on there once. Actually, I'm full of shit, he didn't actually say that. I'll be sharing these measurements with you so you can reference them when you do yours. Okay, looks about right. There you go, guys. So I measured half the third brake light to find the center of the car. And then I threw some tape down on the spoiler, cut that measurement in half to find the center of the spoiler. Made a line there. You're welcome. Throw the two on the car, make sure they're lined up, and bam. I almost forgot here, but we need to prep the area of any contaminants or grease or wax or anything that's gonna be on the paint that's gonna make it harder for that to stick. Hey, Bubba. Um, wanna see something my own? No. Okay, you can show me. Yeah, something like that. Okay, check my measurements. Five zero points, check. Looks like we may have uh, measured correctly after all. Lighting right here, okay. We're at the point of almost no return here where we're gonna have to pull the, have to pull the backing off of that two-sided tape. Break. Oh, boo. up on it a little bit. I want to make sure to put some pressure on that edge because that does seem like it's going to want to lift. Check some gaps here. It does not feel straight at all. Perfect. Now we just got the front, the front sticky tape to pull and this thing's on there, baby. That sounded aggressive. Again, I'm gonna spend a little bit of extra time on these edges because they do feel like if something's gonna lift, it's going to be there. All right, internet, that was my attempt at installing the Spoiler King 380P. I think it went all right. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did like the video, leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff that people tell you to do. If you didn't like it, let me know too. Let me know things that I might be able to change to do the next one better. Anyways, hope you like it. See you on the next one. Bye.